And it looks like we're ready to start. Let's go ahead and jump into the VR world. What's up guys? Eric here with the Hollow Herald. Today we have a little bit of a quick uh, WMR video for you guys, Windows Mixed Reality. Uh, we're going to be testing how good the spatial mapping is on the headsets, specifically the Acer headset. I doubt they differ very much between the headsets. Um, this is a dev kit. So it might be slightly, slightly different, but I highly doubt it. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna tape off a box on the carpet and then we're gonna hold the headset and we're gonna walk around it and map it in. Then we're gonna jump into the VR world and we're going to see how close it was to the actual space. Let's get into it. All right, so first off, we're gonna start by taping a box around this, our, our play area. Theodore, there's some things I wanna tell you. got our play area mapped off. Um, we just measured the cable. It's roughly 140 inches, I think. Yeah, it's roughly about 140 inches from the split, which is right here um, to about this part. So about the actual usable space, uh, which is a pretty long cable actually. So now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna measure off our distances. So just so you guys can see the radius, it's not gonna help that much for the video, just to give you guys a better perspective of what's going on. So probably another time lapse. This one's 106. By about 62 inches. Now we did this part right here, a little squampo, because we thought a square would just be too, a rectangle would just be too simple for the system. Um, so we thought we'd added a little bit of squampiness so we can really test how well um, the, the mapping works on it. So this first little ledge right, this first little bump right here is about another 62 by mm, about 70. And then the width of the desk is about 65. So someone else can add that up in the comments or something. I don't really want to figure out the area of what it is. We could probably use the HoloLens to do it, but that's a little, <laughs> that'd be a little bit too much Microsoft for one video. Um, so let's go ahead and let's throw on the set. Let's map it and let's see what happens. So how this works is actually really simple. This is one of our favorite things about the Acer headset is how plug and play. I literally just plugged my headset in, HDMI, USB. Um, it's telling me right now that we'll center our headset, hold it in front of you and point it towards your computer, then select center. And they have a nice little walkthrough right here. A kid could do this, it's super simple. Um, you have an IR sensor right here on the Acer headset and an IR sensor right here. These are very similar to what the HoloLens uses to map your area. So let's go ahead and let's map it in. So I'm gonna come and I'm gonna click, we're now center. All right, so I'm working like this. It's gonna walk you through how to do this. It says, now we're ready to trace your boundary. For best results, you'll need about five to seven feet. That's pretty close to what we got in here. Normally we would go way more out over there and make a huge area, but we have too much crap over there. So let's go ahead and it says, stand up, point your headset towards your computer, then select trace. Walk around the perimeter of your space, keep the headset pointed at your PC. We've done this a million times, but just to show you guys. Trace, so now we are tracking. So we're gonna go like this. I'm gonna walk as close to this 
as I can. You can do this really fast normally. I just want to make sure I get it accurate. This only takes about two seconds normally. Let's walk around super quick. I'm trying to keep the headset right above the blue line. All right. Go on the tricky part. So this is like if you were in a more like a kitchen area or a living room setting, which most people will have something like this in. All right, and we finish. That actually looks pretty good. I'm screen capping this right now so we can uh, go ahead and show you, but that looks pretty good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and accept that in. And it looks like we're ready to start. Let's go ahead and jump into the VR world. All right, guys, here we are. We're inside of the VR world. Now, one more time, I'm gonna preface this with saying we are still running on my really crappy PC. So if this stuff is really jumpy and low resolution, um, it's due to that. So just uh, bear with us. Our computer parts get here in two days, and we'll have a whole video about that, and it'll be awesome. But for the meantime, we're stuck with this. All right, so we've got our mapped out area. And I'm in the VR world, so I can't see anything. But you can already see the lines right there. I can point to where it is right there, right there. I can walk around it. Look right here. It's pretty good in there. Um, we had to just we had to just run to the store real quick and grab more batteries for the controllers. Um, so they, they, the 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 Acer actually fell asleep. So this isn't me just going directly to it. This has been about 30 minutes. I had to restart the whole program. And this, so this is even it remembering where it is. So let's go ahead and test how good it is. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put right here. You guys can see the walls right there. I don't know, where are you, Austin? I'll, I'll face you. I'm right here. Austin's right there. So I'm gonna do it in front of him so the audio is better. All right, so right here is where the headset's going through it. Let's go ahead and we're gonna go down. Down, down, boom. Am I on it? Uh, just slightly off of it. Just slightly off of it. Okay, so this is right where we're going. It goes all the way, I'm just gonna follow it. This is gonna look really crappy, but I'm just gonna follow it where it is. Here's the point, right where it's about to turn. All right, we're going around, going around. Boom, got the second point right here. Going around, going around. Boom, got the second point right here. Coming over here. And another one right here. Uh, now the long line. All the way through. Oop, I don't want to trip on my cable. Going through here, going through here, and boom. The point's right here. And now what's cool about this is I can still get my bearings. I've been all turned around, I'm in a whole different circle. But since I can look and find where that is, I just stick my arm up, that point's right there. I can easily guess that my desk oh, 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 oh. <laughs> is right about there. I don't know where Austin is. But uh, I moved around a little bit too much. Cables are everywhere now. Um, and now I can walk way over here. I know my controllers are right there. Just walk over, pick them up, and come back in my safe area. It's pretty good. So you can see, like, I know my monitor's right there, and I could very easily, if this wasn't here, potentially punch it. So, I, that's the mapping. I mean, you guys can guess from what you will. I mean, you guys can affirm from what you guys will in this. When I'm in the center, that's a big play area. And we, we could have gone all the way out over there, around where the death, I mean, around where the, the rug is. We could have gone all the way out over there and double this play area prospectively. I don't know how many people have offices or rooms big enough, but I think this is a pretty fair standard play size. I can run over here, and nope, I'm getting close, so I know I'm right here. Whoop. I know I'm right here. And then I can be running around over here, and I know I'm about to hit the wall right here. And this even works in-game. We'll, we'll demonstrate this more when we have our new computer build, but for the time being, this is the best we can do. When we're actually inside of games, window mixed reality games, it actually still has this play area box around it to make sure you're not going and punching stuff and not dealing with that. 
Um, so, I mean, it's really nice. I've never used Vive towers. I've never had to configure them. I've just played with them. I've never had to configure them. But this has to be easier than setting up towers, is just walking around a box. It takes about two seconds. For reference, one more time, I'm gonna walk right on the line, like a drunk test. Here we go. Whoa, that's, that's trippy, actually. All right, coming on over here. Got it a little too tight. Go right here. Come over here. I got pretty close to the table right there. We're about to get pretty close to the desk without bumping into it. And I don't want to completely destroy everything. <laughs> so anyways, uh, I know a lot of people are curious what separates the Windows Mixed Reality headsets from other VR headsets and this. This ability to just be able to scan in your area. If you, if, This is really, really great for demonstrations or taking it to a friend's house or anything. You don't have to configure towers. You don't have to set anything up. And I know it can be kind of persnickety. At least it used to be with the vibes. Now, it doesn't matter where you are, what space you're in, if you're in a convention hall or anything, if you have room, you're good. You have plenty of play space all the way over here. I don't know. It's really exciting, actually. I think it's cool. It's definitely plug and play. Makes the VR very a lot more attainable and I like it a lot. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump to the outro. So there you guys have it. That's the spatial mapping test on the Acer headset. Like I said, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the same for all of the headsets. Um, if we get other headsets, we'll definitely be doing the same test on it, and if it varies, we'll make a video on it. But it's safe to assume it's the same technology, it's the same everything. The conclusion was awesome. I was really close, actually. This is our first time testing this. Uh, so you saw the original footage, you saw everything. We didn't, we didn't try to configure anything, we didn't try to tweak anything. We literally taped it down, scanned the area, threw the headset on. Well, that's actually where it's a little bit different. We actually set the headset down for a while, had to run to the store, grab batteries, come all the way back. The program had completely shut off and my headset had been sitting there for a while. So that was within like 40 minutes difference and the whole program had shut down. So that shows you the memory capabilities of the scan again. That's how well it did. I've been very paranoid recently. I scanned it in every time I opened it up, but I no longer have that fear. I understand that it's that good every time. This is a little bit different than you normally set up the headset. Normally you would just literally plug it in, scan the area, be good to go. And that's only if you're plugging it into a new computer. And it literally takes less than a minute to scan your area in. It's super accurate, you can go really fast around your whole area. It doesn't even take that long. It's awesome. If you guys like this video, go ahead and leave a like down below. Uh, you guys can also subscribe if this is your first time viewing our content. We have tons of VR, AR, MR, XR, TR, QR, FR, every reality content you guys can imagine. So if you guys want to be here for the ride, go ahead and subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one.